Double honor to the apostle, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled Till Heaven and Earth Pass, One Jot or One Tittle Shall in No Wise Pass from the Law. Bring out a uh, question of other head. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, this is going back on the video. The brother did. After June of 2011, our, our people will help Esau push his new world order. And one of the comments, a guy named James D. Shastakar Banaya, he asks, Ak, do we have to follow the law of the land in Babylon? All right, and so the brother had a, a good question. Do we have to follow the law of the land of Babylon? Okay, first and foremost, Amos, hey, somebody get Amos 3 and 1. <clears throat> it's Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Bashan Shah has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Yeah, so hear the word that Yahweh ha has spoken unto us, who is us, the sons of Israel. Continue. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Right, the whole family. So all the way from Judah all the way down to Issachar. The 12 tribes in totality. Go ahead. Saying, you only have our... We are the only family Yahweh Bashem al Shah has dealt with. Why? Because <coughs> he gave us the law, statutes, and the commandments. Okay? You got something? No. All right. Get uh, Psalms 140. I think it's 147. <clears throat> So the reason why we're being punished is because we received the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right? So if you break that law, or if you break laws or a law, then therefore you're going to receive consequences. And this is why we are in captivity at this time frame. Okay? So first and foremost, um, you're supposed to follow the law, statutes, and the commandments of the scriptures. All right? This Psalm 147, verse 19. Mm hmm he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments. Right, so Jacob is the forefather, our forefather of the 12 tribes, okay? Go ahead, bro. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. We received the law. Go ahead. He had not dealt so with any nation. So, right, so out of all these other nations, including these 17 nations, he has not dealt with these nations. Continue. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. That's right. Praise ye Yahweh by right. Shem al Right. Praise ye Yahweh by Shem al -Shah because these other nations did not receive the law, statutes, commandments. Only our only our nation. Now, go to um, Judges 5 and 11. Because we are in captivity, and at this time frame, we're not going to be able to keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. And first and foremost, we don't have spiritual bodies. Okay, so therefore we are um, we are sown in corruption, meaning this flesh, all right, and this flesh promotes lust, which promotes sin, which promotes death. Okay, so what we do is we keep the law, statutes, and commandments that we can to the best of our abilities. But first and foremost, at this time frame, it's all about your faith in Yahweh Shai, because your faith in Yahweh Shai is going to govern you to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of your ability. Go ahead, bro. Judges 5 and 11. Mm -hmm. They that are delivered from the noise of archers and the places of drawing water. Mm -hmm. There should they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. That's right. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of this village <coughs> in Israel. Then should the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Can you read that again? Good. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Right. They that are delivered from the noise of, noise of archers. Who are, who are they? The elect. Okay. They are delivered from the noise of archers. What is the noise of archers? Talk about the missiles. All right, go ahead, bro. In the places of drawing water. In the places of drawing waters. This is talking about America, man. Why? This is symbolic for a land of our captivity. All right, we are a prey within this demographic or within this landmass. Go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. So in America, we shall rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. Okay, and when you go into that Hebrew word for rehearse, it means um to tell again. All right, what are you doing? Meaning, basically, you're practicing the law, statutes, commandments. If you have children, you instill in them the law, statutes, and the commandments. But at the same time frame, you're not going to be able to keep these law, statutes, commandments perfectly because if that was the case, what is the purpose of having Yahweh Shah to redeem us? Okay. 
All right, go ahead. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Mm -hmm. Then should the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Right, so right here in America, we're going to rehearse we're going to rehearse these uh, righteous acts, all right? Meaning you're going to practice. If you're practicing on something, you're trying to perfect something. But at that time frame, you're not going to get it perfect, okay? You got something wrong? You yeah, got something wrong? Uh, oh, go ahead. Addressing this question because we brought out, you know, first and foremost, we're supposed to keep our law, statute, and commandments. Mm -hmm. But like you said, you can't keep it in our land of captivity. Mm -hmm. So uh, to address the brother's question, you know, uh, he asked him about the Babylonian decrees. Do we supposed to keep that? Mm -hmm. and, and that's yes, we do. If you read about all the other uh, prophets in the scriptures, when they was in their land of captivity, they still, you know, kept that land of the law. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The law of the land, you know? So we supposed to do the same thing. And this is the reason why we are uh, predicament. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it should come to pass that thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So you look at our people at this day and time frame, okay? Uh, our people lack the Holy Spirit. And I'm talking about two thirds of our people. They, they're not quickened by the word, okay? They are in the poorest conditions ever in captivity, all right? They are. Uh, in a low valley, which is America, but everywhere our people are, including um, um, the confusion of faces, we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, but due to all of that, you know that is, I mean, we're we're basically uh, in this poor state because we broke the law, statutes, commandments. All right, we showed our allegiance to these other gods <coughs> instead of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and as a result, we were punished. And we became discontinued from our heritage, and we just became um, 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 dry bones, so on and so forth. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. all right. We're like, like I said, you know, our women are harlots. All right, we're sickly. All right, we're weak. We're, we're, you know, we, 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 we came down from the status of sons of the living power until like uh, being black. Mm -hmm. All right, being Negroes. All right, we're the fallen ones, man. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. And we have that spiritual stigma on us. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that we go there, we have that, that reproach that as the scriptures say, man. That's that curse. That's that dark cloud following us everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. And this is to prove that we still we're supposed to um, you know, keep the law of the land in our captivity. This verse uh, 48. Therefore should thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord should send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. You should put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. That's right. So if you are enslaved by your enemies, of course you're going to have to basically keep his laws, keep his statutes, keep his commandments. This is the consequence for breaking Yahweh's law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? You have something? God. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but, but because ye moved Yahweh to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. We gave our word that we were going to be Yahweh's people. All right, we were going to be sons of the Most High, and, and in return, He was going to be our power. We agreed. We verbally committed to that oath. Therefore, it was sealed in blood. All right. Now, as a consequence, look at us now. All right. Now we have to basically follow these law, statutes, and commandments of the heathen man. All right. Now, but at the same time frame. You have to be circumspect in doing all things, okay? You want to add something to it, uh, Elder? No, I have nothing. All right, she calls you back. Uh, this, um, uh, Romans, the eighth chapter, and the sixth verse. Mm -hmm. It says, But uh, for to be currently minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. So, in the situation that we're in, we in a you know, our captivity, we got to stay spiritual minded of it. Meaning that we can't try to overthrow this government just because it's against Yahweh Bash Yahushai. That's why Yahushai said, uh, you know, uh, when it says in uh, Zephaniah, I want to say the second or third chapter, mm -hmm. uh, way upon him, he's going to rise up, up to the cradle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to let Yahweh Shah avenge, you know, our enemies for us. So we can't try to overthrow this government. Therefore, we have to try to keep Esau's. You know, his uh, ways or his doings, you know, as uh, long as your house has is here. Right, you know? right. And what the brother's saying, like, okay, like like laws, like 
you wouldn't steal. Right. You know, things of that nature. Yeah. You wouldn't be a pedophile and so on and so forth. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, just like, um, like vehicle registration. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, getting your tags and all that stuff. You know, paying taxes. Yeah. You know? Social security card. Okay. You know, your a driver's license. Yeah. But at the same time frame now, but you have to be, like the brother said, you have to be spiritually minded. Now, at the same time frame, you wouldn't eat pork. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't eat shrimp. You wouldn't sleep with another man's wife. You wouldn't um, sacrifice doing his, his traditions. Yeah. You wouldn't basically um, worship his holidays. Worship his holidays. Mm -hmm. All right, you you see, it's yeah. a thin line. It's not a thin line. It's just being spiritually minded, man. Yeah. You know, this Acts five and get to the point uh, thirty seven. After this, man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many obeyed him, were dispersed. Right, because basically it wasn't time for that. All right, the Most High set up these Romans, man. Okay, and at this time frame, we have to um, we have to be circumspect in all things, but we are held captive within this captivity. All right, so like the brother saying, you're not gonna form a militia or a coup. What you're gonna do is basically you're gonna wait on your Hawa Bashem Al Shah. You're gonna wait for him to send his right hand. You know, but at the same time frame, like I said, you still have to be spiritually minded. Case in point. All right. Can we get Matthew 10 and 16? Yeah. This Matthew 22 and it started at 15. Mm -hmm. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. Mm -hmm. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of Yahweh in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regards not the person of men. Tell us therefore what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahweh shall perceive that wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? They said unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto Yahweh the things that are Yahweh's. Right. And because we have our own spirit, but we're not our own persons. Mm -hmm. And the reason it is, is because Yahweh Hashem Shah turned his back upon us. Mm -hmm. And he put us in the land of our captivity in the, or in the land of our enemies mm -hmm. to where we have no grandeur possession. We have nothing to call our own or to possess. Right. Now, if you uh, are a brother in the truth that will bless or you're a sister in the truth that received an inheritance, so to speak, and you receive a, 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 pl a plentifulness of, of, of land, so to speak, then it's up to you to upkeep that law of the land, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Because the Heavenly Father gave us the six years to till the ground mm -hmm. and the seven years to give it rest, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. At that particular point in time, you have complete control over that. At the end of the day, it goes back into Judges chapter 5, verse 11, where we are here rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. And at the same time, the laws that the so-called white man has set up before us, we ought to adhere to those Law, so to speak. That's right. As long as it's not breaking the breaking the commandments of Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. Shah, doing something contrary to have you worshiping idols or or bowing down, you mm -hmm. know, to different things that are, are contrary to your spirit That's or right. contrary to to the customs of, of Israel, mm -hmm. you know. And it's balancing within the scripture, like they were saying, because look at Daniel. Daniel didn't bow down to that um, statue in Babylon, all right. But then look at the balance when Yahweh Shah was like, "Hey, you give to Caesar what is Caesar." Whatever I mean, it's like you give to Caesar what is Caesar's, okay? All right, so you have to be circumspect, okay? All right, I got a quick one. Matthew ten and sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And, and sheep in the midst of or wolves are always devoured. Man. That's right. Go ahead. Be ye therefore wise as serpents. So you have to be wise. You have to always be a, a, a cunning and king like. Go ahead. And harmless as doves. But at the same time, harmless, harmless as doves. Mm -hmm. Because when the, when Yahweh shot and his disciples were upon the scene, what did he say? If this was my, my kingdom, kingdom yeah. my servants will fight. Yeah. It wasn't the time for that. That's right. When Peter draw forth his sword and cut off the ear of that uh, so-called soldier, mm -hmm. he was rebuked by by Yahweh Shah. Right. And you could tell that soldier was a jay because what happened? Yahweh Shah healed his ear, man. Okay, but like the elder is saying, hey, it's 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 not our time. Okay, we are 
praise, man. We are actually sheep in the midst of wolves, man. And the behavior of a sheep is to be passive, to be innocent, man. We are not what you call that shit, black uh, identity extremists, man. We are Hebrew Israelites waiting to be saved or redeemed by our big brother, Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, because at the title is written in the video, the, sub, uh, the subtitle there, it goes into not, not one jot or one tittle shall it shall be uh, uh, the man shall remove from the law of Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai. Right, right. Because at the end of the day, it's all about rehearsing and practicing the righteous acts of the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and when it's in your means and your power and you have the ability to do so, then you do so. That's right. This is why the scriptures say, for he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it is sin. That's right. All right? Because it, 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 you know, it's something something as, 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 as simple as having land and you till that land, you know that the Heavenly Father gave you six years to, to bring forth abundance. Mm -hmm. And then he gave you that one year to rest. But the so-called white man has instilled inside of us Produce, 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 That's increase, right. increase, increase to where that mentality has destroyed the entire planet Earth. That's right. Right? That's right. That's why you look at other countries overseas and you look at Asia and how they prosper in their economy because they take breaks. Mm -hmm. They take a so called hiatus. That's right. That's right. Another reason why um, Gad moved around like they did. Okay, Gad moved around because basically they were giving that land a break. And even uh, my family, they had land, or they have land on my father's side. But it's, it's crazy because, like, my father, what they would do with, was they would have cows, and they would transfer the cows from one pasture to, yeah. Yeah, to another field. You know, uh, okay, if it's, you know, they'll put them on this side of the pasture for a couple months and then take them away to the other side of the pasture for a couple months, you know? And because the laws of your house shouldn't have a shot, Covered all spectrums. They cover mixed cattle, mix, mixed breeds dwelling together, you know, mm -hmm. different things of that nature, you know. Hey, because because you know, so you speaking, you know, so we don't speak as as individuals who know it not. Mm -hmm. We're speaking from experience, mm -hmm. you know. That's right. Hey, because we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acres, you know, saying down here, right. that, that are actually within our family possession. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Are you asking for something? Okay. Um, Uh, John 14 2. So like John 14 21. He that have my commandments and keep it them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me should be love of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. And can I make a point? Yeah, go ahead. And because it's not all about the law, 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 law. Right. You know, so we don't just extremely push that. That's right. And because what comes with the law, we always harp on that, you automatically serve your how about shit and how shot mm -hmm. even greater. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you don't understand. And because a lot of people look at the law as that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, it's all about this. It's all about the commandments. You know, but at the end of the day, the commandments matter. But it's what brings you closer to the Lord because now you want to do those things to serve him, to please him. Mm -hmm. You know, because we always reference what your earthly father. Mm -hmm. You want to do everything in your power to please your earthly father. You know what I'm saying? When, when you were in his presence mm -hmm. or when he requires something of you. And our heavenly father's the same way. That's right. Yeah. He gave us this God, God book to go by. That's right. And it pleases the heavenly father that, that we do with his will. That's right. And yeah. Lord, I can I bring our precept for you? Yeah. This is Galatians 3 and 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Curse is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Hey, why is that? Because to sin against the heavenly father's death. Mm -hmm. To do his will, keep his law, statutes, his commandments, and his judgments is life eternal. And you and also just to build up on what they already saying, it's 613 laws. Right. And if you break one, you don't broke all of them. Right. You know, just to build up. And but that brother proves that, that we're in captivity. <laughs> That's right. And it goes back into the subject matter you know? of we rehearsing the righteous acts of how about shim how shah. But the point is that Neither one jot or one till That's right. shall ever be diminished from the law. That's right. Now That's we right. can't keep it perfectly because we have our own spirits. Mm -hmm. These are our bodies, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But we're not our own. Right. We still gotta go to sleep tonight and be pre-programmed to wake up to the alarm clock to get ready to do what? Go through the same work cycle right. for whom? Someone else. That's right. We are not our own. Mm -hmm. The earthly possessions that we have, your Howard Shim How Shai gave us these things upon planet Earth that we may abide by. That's right, brother. Or you know what I'm saying? So a so-called I don't know the word to, to, to 
to basically just possess them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He gives you little things here and there yeah. to maintain yourself. To maintain, you know, to, yeah. to maintain, uh, maintain yourself, or maintain your life mm -hmm. as is. Okay. One more elder. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. Mm. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith because that's what it's all about, you know. And I was going to make a point too, mm -hmm. hey, 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 because man, man doesn't live by bread alone, but but by every word that cometh out, you know, it's in this book right here. Right? That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So uh, harping back to the point, okay. I right, said, so brother, you know, he was asking, like, do we keep the Babylonian decrees? So this is uh, the Apostle Paul in the situation he was going against the uh, Romans. Mm -hmm. So this is Acts 22, and I'll start at 21. And he said unto me, depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lifted up their voices and said, away with such a fellow from the earth. For it's not fit that he should live. Mm -hmm. And as they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and bade that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman? And Uncle Dill. So basically, Paul utilized his Roman citizenship as a get out of jail free card. Mm -hmm. There's no difference with the brother having a passport today, having a driver license, I have a social security number, I saw and so forth. Yeah. Because this is part of Esau's system, and we are in his system because the Most High basically has gave us to him as slaves to be punished. Within this captivity. Right. So does the law of the land still exist? Right. Is it still in place? Yes, yes it's still in yes. place. Yes. Are we able to keep it perfectly for those that may have land, for those that may have, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 farmers in their lineage, so to speak? Mm -hmm. We can't, I mean, you can keep it according, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, according to your might or purpose, you know? But at the end of the day, if the so called white man decided to come up there and, and rent your land out, mm -hmm. or he wanted to, to, to to, to pay you to grow some crops on that land, yeah, is right. he going to buy by? But that land still in your possession. That's right. You know, That's right. it's a. Hey, the truth is vast. The curses are even more vast. <laughs> hey, because hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey for every hey for everything that the heavenly Father has, has placed upon us, you know, what I'm saying curse wise, it, it's on all spectrums of life. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. So um, this uh, the rest of Paul said to him, then the chief captain came and said to him, tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's um, Pastor Paul using that, you know, that uh, pretty much he, he's being spiritual in that situation. Mm -hmm. Just like when, you know, the police is kicking your door, first thing, you know, Jacob asked him, do you have uh, a warrant, a warrant mm -hmm. or anything like that, you know? Where's the reasonable doubt? Yeah. So you got, you know, you got to be smart with it. That's why the apostles uh, back then, in their cases, and when they got locked up, our apostles, you know, in GMS, you know, they, uh, they were standing into the law of America and stuff like that. That's right. And they cut uh, those, you know, um, the judge and everything with the law of the land, yeah. man. And then the Most High provided them a Jewish woman. Yeah, lawyer. yeah a Jewish woman, a lawyer. A and, lawyer. And uh, they won that case, man. That's right. You know? That's right. Continue. And it says, and the chief captain answered, with a great sum obtained out of his freedom. And Paul said, but I was freeborn. Meaning he wasn't a slave. He had Roman citizenship, yeah. okay? All right, so hey, it's, it's no different in today. Uh, uh, you know, you just basically be circumspect, be wise, bro. And at the same time, friend, you're not going to be at work talking about you an Israelite. You know, you are Clark Kent there in that setting. However, you're Superman when you're out there on the highways and the byways. But when you come, when it comes to your home life, you apply the law. When it comes to your work life, you apply the uh, law. Case in point, if somebody brought um, crawfish and shrimp. To your place of uh, work, you would eat that. You may just tell them, "Hey, I'm allergic to yeah, seafood." You ain't, ain't got to go into all the details. Mm -hmm. Like well, this is against the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I was talking about a couple of days yeah. ago that, that, that pork is too salty. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just don't like it. Yeah. It's too salty. Yeah. Right. I don't have to go into details. Yeah. And what did that years ago? Right. You know, hey, mm -hmm. hey, we're going almost ten years strong, man. It's like it, yeah. forget the details. Yeah, man. You know, I'm yeah. telling, I'm telling you what, what I don't care for. Right. right. I don't, right. I don't owe you anything else. Hey, because um, I was gonna say, 
It'll come back to you. you sure? Yeah, I was going to quote the scripture. I got you, but this is uh, verse 29, uh, Acts 22nd chapter. Then straightway they departed from him, which should have examined him, and the chief captain also was afraid at the news that he was a Roman, and because he had bound him. Right, because he knew that Paul was free born. He knew that this wasn't your ordinary slave. Yeah. All right, so that, that um, who was that again? Uh, it was the chief captain. That chief captain knew that he had to respect that citizenship, man. Okay. It's almost like uh, in today's time, if you uh, are a so-called U.S. citizen, these other nations fear mm -hmm. of imprisoning you there. That's right. That's yeah. right. Hey, because they know that the, 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 that the U.S. embassy or the government will come over there and inquire of you. That's right. And retaliate against you if necessary. So if you got caught up in the Dominican Republic or Austria or something, you wouldn't utilize your American citizenship to get within that embassy to get back home? You wouldn't go there and say, hey, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. No, you're going to say, hey, I'm an American citizen. Yeah. And, you know, I'm seeking to uh, uh, to receive a solemn, you know, inside this embassy, yeah. man. Like, look at them Arabs when they come over here. How we talked about it the other night. Yeah. They can rent those fast, exotic cars and things of that such, and they can go about 120 miles. And when they get stopped by the police, they'll say, I have diplomatic immunity. That's right. You know? So they're using a lot of that land. Right, you know? Right, to get uh, bail free. That's right. So uh, this is verse thirty. I think the chief captain was named Lysias, but uh, here it says on verse thirty. On the morrow, because he would have known the certainty, wherefore he was accused of the Jews, he loosed him from his bands and commanded the chief priests and all their council to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them. That's right. So these are just a bunch of niggas trying to catch up Paul, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, chief priest, man. Right, you know? Right, but Paul played it perfect by utilizing his Roman citizenship. Yep. All right, I'm going to bring out Romans 13. This is Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Yep. Who so... Oh, go ahead. Right, you go. No, no, that's all yeah, uh, the powers that are there in the most side, that's Yahweh yeah, Bashasha. He set up these elites, man. Again, with the, the banking elites, you know, and uh, they got control of the land. That's why it says in Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. They're controlling everything. Mm -hmm. So, far as much as the law of the land, things that such, not going like overthrowing Yahweh Bashasha's laws. We still got to keep these laws, you mm -hmm. know. When we're going to like taking the chip of things that such. That's when we cut that shit off, you know? That's right. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Right. And we read that in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter and 37 verse. When they got Judas, he tried to overthrow the Romans, mm -hmm. you know, by because they were getting overtaxed. That's right. And we saw what happened to him by being carnal, man. That's right. You know? And his followers died with him. Yep. All right, verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil, wilt thou then not be afraid of the power and do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. Talk about these Edomites beginning with the elite. For if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, because Yahweh Shem Al Shah can utilize him as their whipping stick. For he beareth not the sword in vain, the gun, and his military. For he is the minister of the Most High, meaning he's a servant of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon them that do of evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscious sake. So just like the brother is saying, you keep the laws of this land, but when it's talking about taking the chip, promoting adultery, uh, eating shrimp, eating pork, and so on and so forth, or announcing uh, announcing their gods over Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, mm -hmm. then therefore, like the brother say, you cut that shit off. You know what I'm saying? You be circumspect, but at the same time frame, you be bold but wise as a, um, a dove, man. All right, you got something else? Yeah, homeless as a dog. Oh, your wise as a serpent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salaki. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um. Right, this, right, this is, um. Yeah, I got one. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, 
and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, mm -hmm. thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so right there, we're, we're awaiting the king with heaven, man. Because we know the golden uh, city is referring to America, man. All right? But at the same time frame, you know, like going into the lesson, you be circumspect. You do what you can, man, as far as, you know, uh, having your faith in Yahweh Shah and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Because the, the whole entire planet Earth is out of course right That's now. Right. That's right. And the only way it's going to be set up right is, it's when Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shah with the host of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. At that moment, all things are going to be set in order, in their proper order. But until that particular moment, we're still in our captivity. That's right. You know, but at the same time, as the scriptures say that in our, our, our ca captivity, we shall remember ourselves. Mm -hmm. Remember who, what? The law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Remember that we actually are slaves. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. and remembering also what? That we have to abide by the rules, laws, and regulations of this system, mm -hmm. of this current world. That's right. And it's like that no matter where you go, mm -hmm. whether you're here locally or whether you travel abroad, mm -hmm. you still have to abide by the rules, law, uh, laws, and, and, and legislation of those particular places. That's right, that's right. Now in the kingdom of heaven, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be what? Written in our inward parts. That's right. And all of the other nations are going to be what? Subject. Subject unto that. Mm -hmm. So, so, at the end of the day, the, the roles are going to revert, uh, uh, it's like a re reverse, mm -hmm. but it's still going to be ordered. That's right. Okay. I got another, uh, you know, just an example how, you know, keeping the law of the land, but they pretty much crossing that borderline. This is um, first Maccabees, the first chapter, just um, get to the 10th verse. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been a hostage in Rome. And he reigned in a hundred and thirty and seventy years of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them which had which have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so for it herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Mm -hmm. Whereupon they built a place of exercise in Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen mm -hmm. and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. That's right. That's right. And the mischief is going to evil. Why? Because these niggas sold out. Mm -hmm. Like they had no integrity. They had no allegiance to Yahweh Shem Shah. And if you continue to read, that's why um, um, Judas' father, uh, Matthias, was killing these niggas, man, mm -hmm. because they were niggas. All right, and at the end of the day, they continue to pollute our heritage by advising them to sell out and to per se live. Mm -hmm. When that, it, it, in actuality, that so called lifestyle is promoting your death right. from your how about Shema Shah? Right. You know, yeah, hey, yeah, brother, Lord willing, you were um edified, you know, um, you know, just be a hey, wise, bro, you know, uh, be a spiritual, spiritual minded. You know, um, and that's a good question. And Lord willing, brothers were edified. You got some peace, though, Y'all yeah, get this last one. As you as war as me, Ephesians 5 and 15. Mm -hmm. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Right, right. You have to walk circumspectly. And if you're circumspect, you're looking around in totality. Okay? And you have to be wise, man. Don't be fools, man. Fools are ignorant people. Mm -hmm. They don't have knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Shah. But you're quickened by the Holy Spirit. So, therefore, you're able to apply what you're supposed to do, utilizing the Spirit. All right? God, God. All right, Lord willing, y'all edify all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. We double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, my friend. Shalom, 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 Yaqanan.